Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr and on this channel we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're interested in, you are in the right place. Um, this is one of my overstock bins. It contains items that I have not used, are not open, I intended to use, but now I'm wondering if I will. So. What I'm going to do is I have two boxes that are off camera and I'm going to look at each of these and decide if I want to keep it or if I want to share it with friends and family. Again, these are all products that I have not opened, have not used, um, but I did buy with the intention of using. <laughs> and some of them are samples from work, but most of them, the vast majority are items that I've purchased. So let's uh, let's jump into it. You might want to grab a tea or water or something because I think this video is going to end up being pretty long. I'll try to breeze through it though as fast as I can. It's not in any particular order either. So this first item is called Nor No Poor... <laughs> I'm already off to a terrible start, aren't I? Okay, this is called No Poor Blum and it's a primer. It's from Touch and Soul. I don't even remember, I think I purchased this at Ulta, pretty sure I did, um, because it looked good at the time, but now I'm swimming in primers, and I have the feeling I'm not going to reach for this, so this is brand new, it's going to friends and family. This is Shankara Timeless Moisturizer, and it is a sample from work. I do want to use this, so I'm going to keep it. Likewise, this is also a sample I just got from work. I want to give it a try and let them know what I think. This is Blue Tansy Sleeping Oil, so I am going to keep it. Ditto! <laughs> I think it's because I threw everything on the top of the box. This is also a sample I just got from work. I'm going to give it a try and see what I think of it and let them know what I think of it as well. So I'm keeping it. Alright, um, this is Urban Decay and it is an eye pencil. It's waterproof, it's long lasting, and the shade is loaded. It's like this kind of green shade. I don't think it's going to show up because it's really... Hold on. <laughs> I haven't even opened this yet, so I hope I don't mess up this container. There we go. So it's brand new. I haven't even used it yet. This is what it looks like, what the pencil looks like. And let's see. This is what the color looks like. It's green. It's new. I love Urban Decay. I do plan to use it. I just haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to keep this one. And it looks like there's another one next, right next to it. So this is also Urban Decay. It's also an eye pencil that is waterproof and long-lasting. And this one is called... I don't know why... It's not focusing, you guys. So sorry. Um, but it's called Love Drug. And it looks like it's purple. Let's see what it looks like. Where's the... Here we are. Yep, it's purple. It's like a plum color. I don't know. It looks to me like it's already dried up and I haven't even opened it yet. I feel like I just bought this, though. So... I'm keeping this and I'm going to go ahead and just sharpen it down and I'll start using it. But the problem with these Urban Decay pencils is kind of similar to like the Marc Jacobs ones where they dry out fairly quickly. So if you are going to buy this, don't stash it like I did. Start using it right away because whatever their formula is, it tends to dry out quickly. But that's a keep. I'm going to use it. This is from Lancome. It's uh, Skin Feels Good. It is a broad spectrum skin tint, and I think I bought this, let me not exaggerate, a couple of years ago. And there is an expiration stamp on here for, yeah, 
September of 20. You probably can't even see that. I know it's the September of 20. I'm sure it's fine. It's never been opened. And, you know, they put those expiration stamps on there to make sure that people don't use things that are out of, um, you know, out of time. But it's never been opened. It's never been used. So I'm keeping it because apparently I plan to use it at some point. <laughs> So, yeah, that's Lancome. Here we have another Urban Decay pencil. Um, this looks like it has to be an older packaging because the writing on the side is a lot bigger. Or maybe it's newer packaging and that's why it's bigger. But it says Waterproof Eye pen Pencil Crayon. I don't know if you can see that. But this one is junky. And I'm telling you up front, I don't care what's going on with this pencil. I'm keeping it. This color is amazing. But I'll pull it out so that you guys can see it. This is what it looks like. And come on. Come on. Those lids are on there tight. Can you see that? It's a beautiful, like, teal color. I think that's teal. So, yeah, I'm keeping this one. This is beautiful. And I need to just slap it into the rotation. So I start using it. This is a foundation mixer from NYX. I don't think I ever even opened this. But what you do is you take it and you use it to kind of change the tone of the shade that you're using so that it fits better. Um, it's supposed to be really good. I just haven't. I never opened it. And I don't think that it has an expiration stamp on it and it hasn't been opened. So I'm going to keep this because I would like to use it. I definitely have foundations where I can use this. So, keeping that. Um, this is another sample from work. It's age control hand protection. And it's by a company called Lemuse. And I think it's open already. Yeah, it's open already. I'm going to take this and set it to the side on my desk so I actually use this. But it's specific to... Um, you're supposed to use it on your hands. And yeah, I'm use that sample from work using it. All right, next we have some Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer. I don't remember buying this. That's probably not a good sign. I know it's not a sample from work. And I'm not seeing an expiration date on here. But the color is totally washed out by this light, isn't it? I don't know if you guys can see that. And I don't think it's going to focus. Oh, it's focusing. All right, so this is dock number two. Let's see what it looks like. Here's the box. And we can get it out. Here's the concealer. Oops, there's a little piece of paper that was in there. Probably to explain how it works, right? Pop that back in. Here's what the concealer looks like. It comes with a little mirror. I'll cover that up for you. Um, it looks okay. There's no oil or anything that's lifted up to the surface, so I'm gonna keep this. Let me see what I can do with it. Actually, you know what? I'm getting rid of this. If I haven't even looked at it, I don't remember buying it. It's still in good use. Somebody will get use out of this. I'm getting rid of it. I'm tripping. I gotta stop holding on to stuff just to hold on to it. Um, I bought this a while ago. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. This color, though, I think is going to be a little bit too dark for me. Um, and I think I actually purchased a second one that was a little lighter. But I can't remember. Either way, though, I think this is going to be a little bit too dark because I believe it does oxidize a little bit. So, friends and family. Okay, so this is a sample from work. It's the Butter London Blurring, Finishing, and Setting Powder. And it's in the color Tan Deep. And let's see what it looks like. Sorry. This is what it looks like. And this color looks like it's too dark for me. I don't think it's ever been opened. 
yeah. That's a little bit too dark for me, but someone's bound to like it, right? I don't know, maybe I could use it for summer? Maybe I can use it for summer. You know, I'll keep it, and if I don't reach for it by the time summer comes, then I will go ahead and declutter it. Okay, here we go. This is the Smashbox 24-hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. This is a good shadow primer, but it's not my absolute favorite, so this is going to go to friends and family. This is a MAC eyebrow pencil in the color Spiked. This is my favorite shade. Is it going to focus? No, it's not going to focus. Anyways, this is my favorite shade of eyebrow pencil, but the reason I'm going to declutter it and give it to friends and family is because um, last year I had my eyebrows microbladed, so I really don't, I have not reached for any kind of eyebrow products at all. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to friends and family. Um, this is a sample I just got from work. It's L'Oreal's Midnight Serum, and... I don't know very much about this, so I'll keep it, I'll read about it, and then if I think I'm going to use it, then I'll use it, but if not, then I'll declutter it and give it to friends and family. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I like setting sprays, so I'm keeping this. <laughs> I think I actually have the other version of this. I think it's called like uh, D Slick or something like that. That's already open, so I'm keeping this one. This is a Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation from Clinique. Um, is there an expiration date on this? No. Did I ever open this? No. What does it look like? Let's see. Oh wow. This looks to me like it's a summer color for me. It's a little bit red also. So, but it's new. I don't think I've opened it. Yeah, still has a label and everything on there. I haven't even used this yet. So I'm going to keep it. We'll give it a try at some point. That's a keep. All right. Next we have the... Maybelline Better Skin Concealer Corrector. This is, I don't, what was I thinking? I bought a whole series of like concealers and all this other stuff that was just too dark for me. And maybe I bought them all in the summertime and then didn't look at them until winter. But that's what this one looks like. It's clearly been laying on its side for a while, but either way, it's just not my shade. So I'm going to declutter it. More Urban Decay. <laughs> <laughs> this must be another one of the older pencils because the writing on it is smaller. So this is another um, eye pencil and it's in the color Mainline and I'm keeping this. I don't know what it even looks like on the inside, but even if it has dried out a little bit, I'm still keeping it because I can just use the sharpener and sharpen it down. But let's open it and see. Oh, this is fine. Oh, it's pretty too. I've got to put these into my rotation, you guys. I don't know what I'm thinking. There is no way I should have these sitting in a box. They're like $22 each, or at least when I bought them, they were $22 each. So, keep. Okay, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I'm keeping this one. I love this primer, you guys. It's There's something about it. It's the Soft Matte Primer which I'm not necessarily <clears throat> terribly in love with the matte primer, but there's something about this particular primer that I really, really like. I think it's this one. Yeah, pretty sure it is. So I'm keeping this. Actually, wait, maybe it's not the matte primer. Is it the soft matte primer? Which one do I normally use? I went through a couple bottles of it. It has to be the same thing because I bought it over again. Now you guys get to hear why I keep buying stuff over again then forgetting and keeping this. Um... This is a sample that I just got from work. It's the Bosha um, Pro Retinol Repair and Renew Waterless Advanced Treatment. I can't use any retinol on my face right now, so I really shouldn't have grabbed this. <laughs> but um, since I can't, I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. 
This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. This stuff is, I think this this stuff. Let me see. Did I ever open it? One of these is awful. I can't remember. I guess this isn't it because it's not open yet. Which, I don't remember. I don't normally go for a matte foundation, but maybe this will work better than the other one did. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'll keep it. And then if I don't reach for it by the time summer comes, I'll declutter it. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And I love this stuff, you guys. I have the translucent one, but this one is in 004 Sandstorm. And yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I stay stocked in the translucent one. They better never stop making it because I will go out and buy a whole box. Um, this is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. And I'm not sure if when I bought it, it I don't know, you guys. I don't know what was going on with me, but I bought a whole bunch of complexion products that are just like not even close to my shade. Um, but this one, I'm going to try and make this one work because I had the original camo concealer and I love the finish of it. It's so nice. So I'm going to give this one a try. So I'm keeping it. Um, ditto. It looks like I was on a roll. So this is a 16 hour camo concealer and same thing. I'm going to keep it. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have one right now that I'm coming to the end of the tube. I really like this stuff. It's the Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. It's been around forever and why is it so washed out? I don't know. I'll fix it in post, you guys. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a powdery blue box. I love this stuff. I'm keeping it. Um, What's this? This is the Revolution Fast Base Concealer, which is probably about two shades too dark for me. Um, but I might keep it because I can use this on my lid when I go to do a shadow look so I can even the color of my lid. So I'm actually going to keep this. And then this one is four shades too light. Plus it has a really great undertone. And this is from... L'Oreal True Match. Not sure why I grabbed this. Maybe I intended to grab something different, but yeah, this is definitely going to friends and family. Um, I just bought these. I have a couple. Here's the other one. Um, so these are both from Ulta Beauty. They're the metallic cream eyeshadow. And this one is in Breakdance. And this one is in Jam's Jam. Jam's Jam and Breakdance. So this is what they look like. And they are so close in color that I'm definitely giving one to friends and family. Why did I grab these? The difference is this one is more bronzy and... Come on, focus. There we go. This one is more bronzy and this one is more pink and you can hardly tell the difference. So I'm going to keep the one that's more bronzy and declutter the one that's more pink and give it to friends and family. Okay, this is from Fashion Fair. I just got this from Sephora. It's a foundation stick and this is what it looks like. Sam Fine is the owner of Fashion Fair and the founder, I believe. Really? Oh, there we go. This is what it looks like. I love their packaging. It's so nice. It's very, um, feels very high end. But it's a foundation stick and that's the shade. And I just bought it, like I just mentioned. So I'm absolutely keeping this. All right, and oh, so this is another one of those um, NYX foundation mixers, but this one is in the shade white, so it's intended to kind of like lighten whatever shade you have, and maybe because I have so many foundations right now that are not the right shade, they're too dark, 
this will help to correct that. So I'm going to keep this. This is an empty box, <laughs> but it does, it did have the P. Louise base in it. And I think it was just shade zero, which is already sitting in my um, makeup tray. And so I can use it to uh, apply before I apply shadow. So I can make the shadow more vibrant by putting a white base down. That's what this is. So I'm going to get rid of this box. And let's see. Looks like I tried to organize this. This is the Kiss Lash Glue. It's the strip adhesive glue. It's got the precision tip. I like this glue, so I'm keeping it. And here is the other one. It's the Lash Couture Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the one I use the most, so I stocked up on it. I have three of them here. I love this stuff, and so I'm going to keep it. These are all the uh, Danessa Myricks Color Fix, um, the little squeezy tubes. I should have a few of them. More than a few, I guess. I have how many? Six. I have six of them. So I just bought these from Sephora. I haven't even used them yet, although I did open this one. So I can show you what it looks like. Like a little squeezy tube. This is what it looks like. It's super vibrant. You can use it as a standalone shadow and just blend it out so it's liquidy, right? You throw it on your lid, you blend it out, or you can use it as a base for whatever shadow you're working with. So without trying to make too much of a mess here, they're very pigmented. As you can see, I didn't squeeze this at all. All I did was tap the end on my hand. So yeah. It's something that I think is going to last me forever. <laughs> uh, suffice it to say, I'm keeping all of them. I just got these. This is one of my favorite liners. I have the other one that I use often on my makeup tray because I grab for it almost daily at this point. But I have that one in black and this one's in brown. It's from Wet n Wild and it's a really reasonable price point and it lasts forever. This is a really good alternative to the Kat Von D um, Locket Tattoo Liner in case you're looking for an alternative. I like that one too, just putting it out there. But I like this one because the price point is right and it lasts all day and does exactly what it's supposed to do. So why pay more, right? So I'm keeping this. Um, this is the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive in the Doc Tone. I still love Duo, so I know I'll end up reaching for this, so I'm going to keep it. Um, this is a sample I got. It's the Makeup Forever Hydra Booster Step 1 Primer. Really, this should be in my sample drawer, so I'll put that in my sample drawer. These are the LA Girl, what are they called? Uh, Pro Concealers. This one is actually supposed to be a color corrector. And then this one you can use just like you use the P. Louise base, where you put this on your lid and then throw the shadow on top of it to make the shadow more vibrant. These are still new, and I am keeping them. I don't know why I'm saying everything's new, you guys. You know it's new. This was part of a three-pack that I finally opened the... There were three. I used one. I have another one that's open right now. Um, let's see. This one. This was from, like, Christmas one year. So there were three of them in there. I used one of them. This is the one I'm working on right now. And then I'll be using this one. But it's the um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I absolutely love these. I think I have a whole nother set somewhere in this house. <laughs> I use them all the time. They are so soothing to me. I like them and I like the way they taste and smell. So I'm keeping it. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte liner. It's an auto pencil. Um, I think I grabbed this when I actually intended to grab the wooden stick one. So there's nothing wrong with it. I do like it. Um, it's waterproof. It's, it's a good liner, but I'm probably not going to reach for this. So I am going to declutter it and give it to friends and family. 
This is Becca. Rest in peace. Becca is no longer a brand, although I believe that they were acquired by... <sighs> Who were they acquired by? Smashbox, I think. Don't quote me on that. But this is the um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I actually have one already that's in my drawer that I'm working on because I really like this setting powder. I grabbed this one from TJ Maxx for $9.99, so I'm keeping this. This is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner, and the shade is called Moss Boss, and it's in green. I'll show you what it looks like. Gosh, I'm trying to open these boxes, you guys. They're like, we want to sell you the product, but we don't really want you to open the box. This is what it looks like. I think the packaging is really sleek. It even has a smudger on the end. And this is the color right here. And it's definitely a nice mossy green. I do plan to use this because green is my favorite color. So this is a keep. I just bought these. They are the e.l.f. Intense Ink Liner. Um, this one is waterproof. And this one is not. This one has a thicker um, tip right here. And this one has a finer tip. Um, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to get rid of this one and keep the waterproof one. I think I grabbed both of them because I needed one more for something. Like a coupon or something. I don't know. Some nonsense that I grabbed it for. So I'm going to keep this waterproof one... And this one is going to go to friends and family. This is the Laura Mercier Ready, Set, Go um, setting powder. I mean, it's kind of a cult classic. I think a lot of people have heard of this, if not already own it. So this is what it looks like. I, you know, haven't opened any of these. It comes with a little sponge. And then the powder is on the inside. Um, I already have a lot of setting powder, so I'm actually going to give this to friends and family. It's a fantastic powder. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think I'm going to reach for it before I reach for other powders that are already in my collection. So friends and family. And then these are the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primers. Um, this is the Universal Sheer. I actually like this formula. It's... Um, it's good. I like it. But I don't need two backups. I already have one, I believe, that's open that I just went through or finished or something like that. So I'm going to keep this one because it has a little rip there at the bottom. And I'm going to give this one to friends and family. This is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I have it in the shade Hazelnut. And this is what it looks like. I do like this. I just haven't opened it to use it. So I'm keeping it because I do plan to reach for it at least by the summertime. So keeping. Look, it's two pencil sharpeners. <laughs> Even though I've had the same Revlon pencil sharpener for years, I have a backup pencil sharpener here. I just can't seem to part with my Revlon one, which is so dumb, but whatever. I love it. So I'm going to keep that one that I've had forever. And I'm going to declutter this one because I'm pretty sure my friends and family have lots of stick um, pencils that they can use this with. This is from Urban Decay. Wow, more Urban Decay pencils. What is wrong with me? <laughs> this is the major upgrade pack and it's got four shades in it. It's got Smog, Rockstar, um, Demolition, and Perversion. This Perversion, I believe, is the original. It's the black one. I'm keeping this. I feel like uh, I feel like I should get rid of it though, because almost like a lesson. <laughs> but it was forty four bucks. I mean, that's like buy one get one free. So we're buy two get two free in this case. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm keeping this. I'm gonna use it, you guys. I will at some point. This, I don't know. I think I got this from the beauty store. It, or beauty supplies. 
can I talk? From the beauty supply store. Um, it's uh, Ruby Kisses. It's a mineral powder. I've never opened it. I'm never going to use it. So this is a declutter. These I got a few years ago during Christmas, I believe. I have very few Tarte items. I just don't think they really cater very well to people with my skin tone. So I really don't look at them very often. But I looked at these and I thought they were so pretty. Except it's been a couple years and I've never even opened them. So yes, I'm decluttering them. Hopefully they'll go to a better family or someone that cares and loves about them. These are the ones from Stila, another brand that I just don't think does very well in catering to brown skin, but that's just my opinion. Um, I really like these though. I think they're fantastic. They do dry out though, you know, pretty quickly. So if you're going to open one, open it with the intention of using it. Um, so I'm going to keep this. This is not, this is, let's see, this too. Okay, so let's start with this. This is just a, um, a MAC empty for, um, <laughs> can I talk? This is just one of those uh, empty quads that you fill with whatever MAC shadow that you have that you want to have in there. I think I've even shared one of these in one of my videos, but it's kind of like a little, like a DIY, kind of like Illamasqua. So that's what it looks like. I bought this a long time ago. I'm sure they look different by now, but it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it, and I'm going to keep it. Ditto. This one is a duo. It's just for two shadows, so I'm keeping that. This is a Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, and I think I have one going right now, as a matter of fact. I think this is the backup for that one. And that's what that looks like. I'm keeping it because I do use it. I just have to finish the other one and then I can open this one. Oh my gosh, we're finally getting close to the bottom. All right, so this is Tatcha's... Um, oh. <laughs> this is Tatcha's The Silk Canvas, which is very... Um, I should say the e.l.f. putty primer is quite similar to this. They're both really nice, and I know this is a really nice product, and it's high-end and all that, but I'll probably reach for the e.l.f. first, crazy as that sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to friends and family and declutter. This is the Cover Fix or Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. Again, it's another setting powder I intended to use, and I just never grabbed for so nothing wrong with it I think it's just like a translucent deep or something maybe I'll keep it maybe it'll be good for travel I can take this with me traveling maybe I'll keep this I'll keep it it's fine I might end up using it anyways um this is the milk makeup what is this called this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer. I have not opened it yet, but I do want to use it, so I'm keeping it. This is one of those um, powder sifter things. I bought this one on Amazon, so you can put your own powder in there, and it's got the little mesh screen, so I'm keeping that. Wow, oh, finally almost the end, you guys. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. It's I just never grabbed for it. I don't know why, but I was going to use this underneath my complexion stuff and just make it look beautiful and glowy but I have not reached for this yet so I'm going to declutter it it's going to go to friends and family okay so this is the what is this the Maybelline Brow Drama Eye Studio Pomade Crayon Again, I had my eyebrows microbladed, so I'm never going to reach for this. So it's going to friends and family. And then this one is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Volumizing Brow Gel. Again, friends and family. Okay, we're down to the last two products, you guys. I love this setting product powder. I'm not, um, I'm not getting rid of this, but this is from Ruby Kisses, and I use this setting powder all the time. It's the invisible something something, but I love it. So brand new, I'm keeping it. And then let's see. 
do we have left here? This is from Beauty Bakery. It's the flower setting powder, and it comes in a little bag that looks like a flower bag. Isn't that cute? And it's the Oat Translucent. I haven't even opened it yet, and I don't want to open it yet, so I'm keeping this. I think the packaging's adorable. All right, so let's see. What am I giving so far to friends and family? Here is the box so far of things I'm giving to friends and family. Um, eventually this box is going to contain, um, other stuff too, like probably skin, well, maybe not skincare. I think I just did that, but certainly I think I'm going to be going through my blushes and highlighters and eyeshadows and decluttering those as well. So this box, this box will be getting full. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I know it was a very long video. Here's everything that I'm going to keep. I'll organize the box a little bit better. Probably not. <laughs> like, let me just be honest here. Here's my version of organizing this box. There we go. Ta-da. It's organized. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. I hope that you have a wonderful day and you're staying healthy. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.